Canada's next Tactical Aviation Capability Set project, NTAX for short, is a major initiative to modernize its tactical helicopter fleet, replacing the aging CH-146 Griffin helicopters. The project aims to create a balanced fleet with new capabilities, including enhanced aerial firepower, C-4 ISR, and improved mobility to support special operations forces. The estimated cost is $12.9 billion, or 18.4 billion Canadian dollars, with the new fleet expected to reach initial operating capability around 2033. The following are the helicopter candidates that will replace the aging CH-146 Griffin fleet. Which one do you think will be chosen? Let's discuss it. Bell Textron, with its long history in Canada, including the production of the Griffin at its Mirabel facility, proposes the V-280 Valor Tiltrotter as a revolutionary option for NTAX. Its battlefield advantages include revolutionary speed and range, more than double that of traditional helicopters, allowing for rapid troop insertion, quick evacuation, and long-range assault in contested areas, while its agility supports low-level maneuvers to evade threats. For armament, the V-280 can integrate modular weapon systems such as guided rockets, missiles, and guns, providing flexible fire support. Its suitability for Canada lies in addressing vast geographic challenges, such as Arctic patrols and disaster relief. By offering superior airlift capacity and speed to cover remote regions efficiently, aligning with NTAC's goals for enhanced mobility and sovereignty protection. The Tiltrotter design reduces logistical footprints compared to fixed-wing alternatives, making it ideal for Canada's dispersed operational needs. Boeing, already supplying Canada with the CH-147F Chinook heavy lift helicopters, could offer the AH-64 Apache for the firepower component of NTAX. On the battlefield, it excels in providing superior lethality through precision strikes, enhanced survivability via advanced threat detection, and extended standoff capabilities to dominate complex environments. Armament includes a 30mm M230 chain gun for close support, AGM-114 Hellfire missiles for anti-armor rolls, and rocket pods for area suppression. For Canada, the Apache fills a critical firepower gap in tactical aviation, offering interoperability with NATO allies like the US and UK, which already operate it, and robustness for harsh climates though it would require integration with existing fleets for full utility in multi-role scenarios. Its proven track record in global conflicts positions it as a deterrent enhancer for Canadian forces in high-threat deployments. Sikorsky, a Lockheed Martin subsidiary with a strong Canadian presence through the CH-148 Cyclone Maritime Helicopters, presents the UH-60 Blackhawk as a proven utility platform. Battlefield advantages encompass versatility in troop transport, medical evacuation, and logistics, coupled with high survivability through redundant systems and powerful performance in adverse conditions. It can be armed with door-mounted machine guns, rocket pods, and anti-tank missiles for armed escort duties. Suitability for Canada is evident from its existing use by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police for border security and firefighting providing a seamless transition for Royal Canadian Air Force utility roles in replacing the Griffon with strong endurance for Arctic and remote missions. The Black Hawk's widespread adoption ensures supply chain stability and training synergies with U.S. partners, bolstering Canada's expeditionary capabilities. Airbus, recently entering the Canadian military market, with H-135 trainers for the future aircrew training program could bid the H-225M for heavy tactical lift. Its battlefield edges include all-weather, day and night operability, rapid reconfiguration for various roles, and heavy payload capacity for troop deployment or resupply in hostile zones. Armament via the H-4 system allows integration of machine guns, rockets, guided missiles, and cannons for combat support. For Canadian requirements, the H-225M's proven performance in extreme environments like Afghanistan and the Arctic makes it apt for sovereignty assertion and search-and-rescue augmentation, with its large cabin facilitating multi-role flexibility in NTAX's balanced fleet approach. European sourcing could diversify Canada's procurement, reducing dependency on U.S. suppliers while maintaining NATO compatibility.
Leonardo, provider of the CH-149 Cormorant Search and Rescue Helicopters, offering the AW-149 as a potential solution for the Canadian military's NTAX project. Battlefield advantages feature agility for urban and rugged terrains, enhanced survivability through ballistic tolerance, and modular design for quick mission adaptations. Armament options include HMP-400 machine gun pods, rocket launchers, and AGM-114 Hellfire missiles for fire support. Its fit for Canada is strengthened by Leonardo's ongoing involvement in the CH-149 Cormorant upgrade, fostering industrial partnerships and technology transfer, ideal for tactical mobility in diverse landscapes from coasts to tundras. The AW-149's cost-effectiveness and interoperability support NTAX's aim for sustainable, versatile aviation assets. The NTAX project demands helicopters capable of operating in extreme cold, providing rapid mobility across Canada's expansive geography, and integrating with allied forces for joint operations. All listed candidates align to varying degrees, the V-280 Valor's speed and range excel in Arctic patrols, and quick response, meeting mobility, and C-4 ISR needs. The AH-64 Apache directly addresses firepower gaps, ideal for armed escort in contested areas. The UH-60 Blackhawk's proven reliability in diverse environments suits utility roles, with recent Canadian acquisitions demonstrating compatibility. The H-225M's heavy lift capacity supports troop insertion in remote regions, while its modular weapons fit multi-role requirements. The AW-149's compact size and ballistic tolerance make it suitable for survivable operations in high threat zones. Economically, selecting these helicopters could boost Canada's aerospace sector, which employs over 200,000 people and contributes $25 billion annually to GDP. Companies like Bell, with 1,600 employees in Quebec, and Airbus, expanding in Ontario, promise industrial offsets, including local manufacturing, technology transfer, and job creation, potentially offsetting up to 100% of contract value through the industrial and technological benefits policy. This would stimulate innovation in composites, avionics, and sustainable aviation, reducing reliance on imports and fostering exports. Geopolitically, NTAX helicopters enhance Canada's NATO commitments and Arctic sovereignty amid Russian and Chinese assertiveness. Interoperable platforms like the Black Hawk or Apache align with U.S. forces, strengthening NORAD and Five Eyes alliances. Advanced capabilities deter aggression, support peacekeeping, and project power in the Indo-Pacific, bolstering Canada's role in global security while signaling resolve to allies. Overall, these acquisitions position Canada as a reliable partner, potentially unlocking joint procurement opportunities with Europe and the US.